Hello everyone, welcome to Auto All About. In today's video, we are taking a close look at the Maserati Levante Trofeo. The Trofeo is the top spec model of the Levante. This is having a 3.8 liter V8 engine with 590 horsepower and 730 Nm of torque. It can do 0 to 100 km per hour in just 3.8 seconds. So let's have a close look at the Levante Trofeo. Levante is the first SUV from Maserati which came out in model year 2016. Following the Maserati design language, the Levante also features a sporty and aggressive body styling. The car features full LED adaptive matrix headlights with fog lamps. This car also features various safety features such as line keep assist, forward collision warning, traffic sign recognition, 360 degree camera, blind spot assist, adaptive cruise control, line keep assist and so on. The boot space in the Levante is around 580 liters, which is fair enough for a luxury sport crossover. The rear end of the Levante looks more aggressive with the sporty quad exhaust pipes. Taking a look at the interior of the Levante, the car features a frameless window with mostly softest materials throughout the interior and the leather with contrast stitching matching the exterior color of the car. The window controls and mirror controls are there on the door panel. The power adjustable front seats are also covered in leather with contrast stitching matching the car's exterior color. Moving on to the interior of the Levante, we are having a digital and analog combination type of instrument cluster here. And the steering wheel is covered completely in leather with the uh, paddle shifters and the controls for the cruise control and media controls. On the center we can have an elegant timepiece from Maserati. And below that we have the 8.4 inch infotainment system screen. Below that we have open carbon fiber design for the center console and there are some covered cup holders along with 12 volt power outlets. Close to that one we have some rotary controls for the infotainment system and below that we have some uh, other controls such as the hazard switch, parking brake controls and the vehicle up and down features and also the drive mode selectors are located over there. This car being the Trophy team which is having the Corsa mode which is a super sports mode from Maserati. Also we are getting some close storage space along with some USB and memory card outlets and auxiliary input directly below the climate control controls below the 8.4 inch touch screen. The center console storage area in the Levante is relatively smaller compared to the size of this vehicle. However, we are getting a fairly sized glove box in the Levante with some USB ports for charging of electronic devices. On top we have the rear view mirror and the dome lights along with the sunroof controls and there is a sunshade along with a vanity mirror. Moving below, the engine start stop and the headlight controls are located on the left side of the steering column. Overall, it's a nice, sporty and luxurious interior we can get inside the Levante. Moving on to the rear seats of the Levante, the door panels are similarly finished with leather and contrast stitching along with the window controls and the speakers from the optional Bowers and Wilkins surround sound system which is having 17 speakers and 1280 watts. The rear seats are also finished with leather and contrast stitching. We are having a cup holder and a hand rest in the middle and the seats are manually reclinable. In the center, AC vents along with the AC controls for the rear passengers. Also, there are some 12 volt power outlets and USB outlets for charging up the devices. On top, the Levante is having a full size sunroof along with the headliner finished in Alcantara. 
folks so that was my short review of the all new 2020 maserati levante hope you guys have enjoyed the video if you like the video please like share and subscribe to the channel we'll see you with a new video soon thank you